feel like Pete is going to be up in arms about this episode. Yeah, like the L'Oreal uh, group. Oh, God. I, that is so obnoxious to me. The business insider woman that got... Um, well, what, what was more ridiculous, and uh, Ace from Ace of Spades brought this up, was that uh, it's actually a big joke that... I mean, not really a joke, it's just <laughs> not true. Uh, that L'Oreal doesn't uh, animal test. Right. Essentially, they animal test. They, they don't animal test, from what I can understand, um, with the exception that if the government uh, says it's required, they will do it. Right. So, what does that China. really mean in practice? Yeah. So, China, huge market, and so they, they're very, you know, there's a lot of animal testing going on in in China. Right. But they, you know, they're of course not going to make a, a pay cut for for the animal testing. This is there. a more powerful gun. Right. It's and oh, so yeah. instead yeah. they, they yeah. have the scapegoat, which is the scapegoat, which is basically this this little girl. Yeah. But regardless, you know. I mean, regardless of the animal testing stuff, the fact that she's a hunter should not be uh, grounds for firing her. This just well, absurd. yeah, I know it's absolutely absurd. But let's let's take their argument at face value. Their argument at face value is that because they have a, a company that does not harm animals, does not do any animal testing whatsoever, mm -hmm. they cannot have a person out there who's engaged in this type of activity pushing their product. Mm -hmm. that's, their, that's their claim. Their claim happens to be totally bogus because if you actually look, they, they will be very happy if they get a lot of money to push into the Chinese market sure. to do as much animal testing as China requires them, which is a lot. Yeah, and I'm sure they're not all vegetarians either, so at right. some point and or another, exactly. they're exactly. animals being And killed. the thing is, it, it's just like every week, as was brought up by, I think, Ace and Noah Rothman brought up, it's like every week everyone's calling for a new scale. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you agree with any particular activity of the people getting fired or anything like that, right. but it's, it's always the outrage from people who never even participate in purchasing the product. It's not like they're actually boycotting. They're just angry and they don't have anything better to do on their computer, so they're going to go bother some corporate executive or something like that and get some person fired for, you know, right. just the, for their own amusement. It's just, uh, for me, I think anyone that advocates for the firing of someone whose politics they disagree with ought to themselves be fired. And those are the only people who should be fired. That That's my... That's my take on it all. Yeah. Just, it bothers me to no end that that kind of stuff happens and continually happens. Yeah, the, the, the obnoxious part about it is it's almost, it's essentially you cannot take a political position while simultaneously having a, a political job, place of employment. So if you work in a political employment, then, then it's fine. You can have your political opinion. But if we find out that you have taken a political position in your private life anywhere and we don't like it and you're now working for a, a political neutral organization, we're going to create havoc for you. Mm -hmm. um, and that's something I, I, I don't support. And it's not, it's not for society. It's not so, you know, a way that you generally want to live where everyone has to self-censor themselves for fear that, oh, somebody might not like it and then create a problem for their employer. Right. And I mean... I just it, the whole thing just annoys the crap out of me. It keeps happening. 